How to Stop Breaking Your Own Heart by Megan Roxanne is a deeply personal and empowering book that explores the emotional journey of self-healing and self-love. Through her writings, Roxanne imparts wisdom on overcoming heartbreak, recovering from emotional wounds, and preventing self-sabotage in relationships and personal well-being. The focus of the book is on recognizing and breaking patterns that lead individuals to cause pain to themselves, often as a result of unprocessed traumas, negative self-beliefs, and past experiences. Roxanne begins by addressing the emotional patterns that lead one to repeatedly experience heartache. She suggests that often, without realizing it, individuals are drawn to situations or relationships that reaffirm their deepest insecurities and fears. Part of the cycle of breaking one's own heart comes from a lack of self-awareness or from a place of unhealed trauma. The author emphasizes the importance of introspection and encourages readers to dive deep into their past experiences to understand the roots of their emotional habits. The book discusses the idea of love as a form of addiction, how the fear of being alone or unloved can lead people to remain in toxic situations or repeatedly seek out unfulfilling relationships. Roxanne urges readers to develop a sense of self-worth that is independent of external validation from partners or relationships. To do this, she advises individuals to create a foundation of self-love and to cultivate practices that reinforce feelings of self-acceptance and self-compassion. Roxanne illuminates the common traps that people fall into when trying to heal, including the tendency to rush into new relationships to fill the void left by past ones, or to ignore the pain by distracting oneself with work, hobbies, or social activities. She cautions against these temporary fixes, stating that they only delay the inevitable confrontation with one's emotional reality. She promotes taking the necessary time to grieve and process the pain, which can be an uncomfortable but crucial step towards healing. The topic of boundaries plays a central role in Roxanne's approach to stopping self-inflicted heartbreak. She explains how strong personal boundaries are essential for healthy relationships. They protect an individual's emotional space and help prevent others from taking advantage of or disrespecting them. Poorly defined boundaries, or the lack thereof, can lead to a loss of self-identity and the perpetuation of cycles of heartbreak. Roxanne provides strategies for defining and asserting one's boundaries, as well as for recognizing when to walk away from situations that violate them. Forgiveness is another critical aspect discussed in the book. The author spells out that forgiveness, both of oneself and others, is a powerful tool in healing from heartbreak. Holding on to anger and resentment ties individuals to the past and to the pain inflicted by others. On the contrary, forgiveness allows them to release these negative emotions and to reclaim their energy for more positive pursuits. Roxanne emphasizes that forgiveness does not mean condoning hurtful behavior or forgetting what happened, but rather choosing to no longer let it control one's emotional state. Roxanne delves into the importance of understanding and expressing one's emotions. She notes that suppressing or denying emotions can lead to them manifesting in unhealthy ways, such as in physical symptoms or in sudden emotional outbursts. By accepting and expressing emotions in a healthy manner, individuals can work through their feelings and prevent them from causing additional heartbreak. Roxanne suggests various methods for emotional expression, including writing, art, therapy, and open communication with trusted loved ones. Throughout the book, the author highlights the need for self-compassion and patience. Healing from emotional wounds is not an overnight process, and there will be setbacks along the way. Roxanne reassures readers that this is a natural part of the journey and not an indication of failure. She encourages readers to celebrate small victories and to recognize their progress, no matter how insignificant it might seem. Roxanne also explores how societal expectations and cultural narratives can influence one's perceptions of love and relationships, leading to unrealistic standards and disappointment. She calls for a reassessment of these narratives and for individuals to define for themselves what love and happiness look like, free from the influence of media, societal pressures, or family expectations. The idea of self-discovery is woven throughout the book, emphasizing that true happiness and contentment come from knowing oneself deeply and living authentically. 
Roxanne argues that by understanding one's needs, desires, and values, individuals can make better choices that align with their true self, rather than acting out of fear or the need to conform to others' expectations. In terms of practical application, Roxanne does not prescribe a one-size-fits-all solution to heal from heartbreak or to stop breaking one's own heart. Instead, she offers exercises and reflective prompts that encourage readers to explore their thoughts and feelings, to identify negative patterns, and to create personalized strategies for change. These exercises include journaling, mindfulness practices, and goal setting to help readers envision a future in which they are free from the cycles of self-inflicted heartbreak. In the latter part of the book, Roxanne discusses the concept of moving forward after heartbreak. She underscores the importance of learning from past experiences rather than being defined by them. The author encourages readers to apply the lessons learned from previous relationships to future ones and to approach new connections with a sense of openness and curiosity rather than fear or skepticism. One of the most empowering messages of the book is that individuals have the ability to reclaim control over their emotional lives. Roxanne reinforces the idea that external circumstances or the actions of others do not have to dictate one's happiness or self-worth. By doing the internal work necessary, individuals can stop the cycle of breaking their own hearts and begin to lead lives filled with love, self-respect, and fulfillment. In conclusion, how to Stop Breaking Your Own Heart is an intimate guide that offers profound insights into the nature of heartbreak and the steps one can take to heal, grow, and prevent future pain. Roxanne's compassionate narrative seeks to embolden readers to confront their emotional challenges, to prioritize self-care, and to forge a path towards healthier relationships with others and, most importantly, with themselves. The book serves as a beacon of hope and a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of emotional adversity. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.